So for this day, so what I'm gonna share is uh, dulu dulu how I use so how I train dulu dulu. So uh, instead of demonstrating different techniques, instead of doing things that for impression, so what I do mostly in this channel is either to share or share some highlights of our training. But for for this topic, I'm gonna share. A dulu dulu or pocket stick, palm stick, whatever they call it. In 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 my in my program, I call it palad baston, a baston or any anything and any short weapon and palad means palm. So I'm using it to explore and train. Well, I train it like an the usual Filipino martial arts, but mostly what I do is always train it with intent, with aggressions and with speed. So I I do believe in the combative word sense of sass or speed aggressive and surprise so i want to surprise my opponent uh surprising means i need to learn how to hide my weapon by by accessing or deploying my weapon from any of my things that i concealed it then by gripping it without him knowing it so that's part of the training you, don't, you just don't train by gripping this already so I need. I want you to learn how to access it first. Learn how to access it from here and hide it. Uh, sometimes, uh, again, tunnel vision. So most of the time, they can see the upper part and the lower part is not. So I want you to learn how to hide it by by talking to them or by gripping them and then talking to them without uh, without this exposing. But for now, I'm not concerned for that. I'm more concerned on how I'm gonna train with this. Okay. So I'm a Filipino martial artist. So usually, what I do is take a concept of arnis or sticks or weaponry and then do it here. What I do believe is when I, if I can do it with the palm stick, if I, if I can do it with this, I can apply it with the knife and I can apply it with, with my empty hand. So though there's a different uh, uh, tweak you need to do. For example, so I'm going to share three way to, uh, three drills that I want you to train. It's the most basic drills. First one, Simple cycling, aggressive cycling, meaning I want you to move forward, move forward. If I'm pacing here, so instead of demonstrating how to use it here, what I do is I'll start with my left foot. Then either way, this can be good. Either you start with hammer, then push and hammer, or you can start with a palm heel, hammer and palm heel and hammer. Well. Uh, this is inspired by other combative instructors that I've seen and I've trained with. Uh, again, what I do like about it is when I'm applying the concept of bagsak. In our case, here, here, and here. If I start with this one, here. So, but again, different mechanics requires, uh, I, I, different technique requires different re mechanics. Since I'm using a shorter whip when I need to move forward, or it's only be done with the close quarter skills, okay? So I want you to train first on the air, on how to strike here, strike, double strike, then withdraw. One, with intent, two, and withdraw, okay? We move one, two. So put your shoulder behind the drill, uh, behind the technique, then strike it, okay? So this is a dulu dulu technique. Uh, palm stick, common Filipino martial arts is we have tools here and we have here. Okay, but for now, let's focus on drop strike and then drop strike. Or I can one there and drop it by scraping it. Okay, so I want you to practice it either uh, solo drills or with a partner. Okay, wait. I said, okay, so how to train it solo drill? So, well. At first, I'm going to start with, uh, here in this video, I'm going to start with, with, with the partner, but this is how you train it. Again, I'm, uh, I'm a, a firm believer of some of the combative instructors that I met already and I've been watching. So my vision is always to put Filipino martial arts again in a combative world, uh, learning how to tap and how to how combative instructor train and use the combat, uh, Philippine martial arts, specifically RRK, to train combatively. For example, if you want to train it, grab the head and then hammer it. For example, if you have solo drills, one, hang, hang. Make sure that this one, 
purely dig, dig it on his, on his face. If you want to dig it on his body, make sure to dig it, not just this, okay? Always aim with intent. Always train with intent. Intent of creating a huge damage so you can escape, okay? Not just hitting him this and then execute a different flurry of movements. Well, if in this take, I did demonstrate with this one, but realistically, when we train with Manghendi, realistically, when we train uh, on our group, well, please join us. We train it just one or two combinations, not, but uh, when we demonstrate for videos, then we do execute with different ways. Again, for here, just grab his head or grab anything into him and then hammer and hammer him. Okay, one simple drills. Or push him, hammer, push, and hammer. But for this A, so I'm gonna start with, with a partner. Again, you can train it solo. For example, from here, like I said earlier, I can start with hammer and push and hammer. Okay. This is the first drills. I want to put my body toward him. I'm not just executing this and this and this and this here. Because realistically, if I strike him here, then his movement will gonna be like that. So I need to follow it. Or if I want to create some power, then I need to put all my body to it and not just demonstrate like a regular, uh, what do call this, handsome instructors that <laughs> to do this, no? So I want to finish a fight as quick as possible. So if I hit you, I'm gonna hit it hard, okay? If I want to play, then I'm gonna play. But for this video, I want to hit hard. So for here, first is hit, palm heel, then hit. Second is palm heel, or here, palm heel, and hit, then palm heel, okay? Hide your weapon. Okay? So I want you to train it with the partner or train it alone. Practice it several times, fill it, and then later we're gonna execute something, okay? So next one, next videos or ne next technique is the same technique, same marking on the next. This time what I want you to do is use the top of this. Strike on the forehead, push, and do an X. Again, strike with this one, palm heel, then do an X. So strike in the head, palm heel, and do an X. For example, from here while we're talking, I'm here, I'm talking to him, then I'm gonna strike here. I'm gonna strike on the temple, push him, and do an X. I can literally strike on the face, then strike on the body, and execute this one. So I can strike below whatever I want. Okay, again, I'll start from here. <clears throat> on this one, if you can see my movements, I'm moving to the side or uh, toward my strike so I can put my body weight on it and then push him by, pull, by palm healing and then hit with the next and then train, uh, hit him with this one. I can grab his shoulder so I can attack him here or I can attack his arm then attack on, on the space. But for now, let's do next. So, one, then one and two. Okay, so I'm gonna hit here, two and three, or an X, okay? Last one. Okay, so that's the second technique. I'm gonna share three response or three combinations that you, three drills, I rather call it drills, because technique is bound to be, you know, to be perfect or bound to be used. But if you don't know how to use it, if you don't train it, then it's also bound to be, uh, I would call this, to fail. Okay, so next one is if somebody strikes you, what it is this? Cover your face or use this, block him, 
or do any defenses that you want. I can block it. I can cover it here by spiking an elbow or I can block it and then grab anything. I can grab the head or I can grab anything and do an X or do it here. What I'm going to do now is a downward strike with a scraping motion, hit hard and hit low or hit high and low. Okay. For example, from head, this, uh, this is case of punches. One, I can grab this or I can block. Grab the neck, hit the pace, hit below, and hit the pace again. Okay? He attacks me, one, and then pull it here. Pag attack again and again. One, grab the neck or grab, or grab anything, hit him, hit low, hit high. Okay? Go. One, hang, hang, hang. One more. Hang, 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 hang. <laughs> Protect, grab, hit high, hit low, hit high. <laughs> okay, so I can also do this by showing demonstration. He strikes. One on straight dress, two black. Okay, I can show it by protecting, <laughs> or I can literally just do this. But for now, do some some of the toe stop that you train, but make sure to train the basic first, practice it, master it, get used to it, and then explore it before. You transition to some some of the cold stuff. Some of the cold stuff made possible might not be effective, but you need to practice it a lot for you to be able to dig it in your body or to, to be able to be uh, to put on your reflex. For example, here this one is a cold stop, but I don't use that too much. I rather use it here or punch it. The moment I punch, I'm gonna grab it and I'm gonna punch this one, or I'm gonna pit this. So in case like this, I'm gonna trap it. So I can trap this one, hit him high and low. Or literally just one, two, three. And then he punch again, I can hit this one. For example, so one, two, he punch. I can just scoop this one simultaneously, hit him with anything. Again, any technique can fail, but you need to train it a lot for you to be able to successfully pull it in real fight. And I want you to train it with for sure, I want you to train to just, for example, I want him to start with basic. Later on, I want him to strike, literally strike. So one, two, one, <laughs> hit here. Or I can start by here and then guiding his, his, uh, his arm. Then I can literally just rub it and swipe his head so I can hit without me uh, taking care of this. For example, from here, <laughs> This one, he can grab it and hit him with anything, okay? So, or just train by it, or train by pressure testing. Strike, Mataga. Sumuka. Go, go. Hit on the face, hit on the face. Move. Move. So, training it safely, but by pressure, pressuring you, meaning you will land the strike without hitting you too much. Meaning, for example, ask your partner to give you these punches. Not, and then they will just gonna throw this one. Oh, let them pull it or pull it, pull it, pull it, pull it by giving them some pressure of hitting but pulling it not just stay sit here okay i'm sorry it takes too long and i talk a lot while well, i usually when i share videos i want people to learn not only the the technique but the principles okay thank you uh i'm not saying this is the most accurate and most practical technique i know some people who says ah this is bullshit this will i agree with you 
I've seen a lot, of, a lot of things that are bullshit. I've seen a lot, but I still respected them because that's their thing. Uh, I might that do some. Some people might see my movements, or some people might see my concept or my principles or my tactic that are not practical for them. I respected that. Why? Because I know different body, different mind, different principles, different movements. But experience, well, I won't gonna tell anyone. But I've seen people keep bashing people, but I never seen them fight. Okay, thank you. Okay. Master it, get used to, uh, sorry. Learn it, get used to it, and master it, then explore it. Thank you, and see you in the next one.